and welcome. Well, I've started using this lathe a little bit. And uh, I've made these spindles. They turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, I'm using the tracer attachment. Uh, I've got some bugs to work out of it. Ultimately, I'd like it to be CNC. But I don't know much about CNC. and uh, Well, that's, it may happen someday, but it'll be a while. Uh, let me show you what I've done. Right here I've cut a pattern. Uh, I've got some flat fiberglass I found. Uh, you could make it out of wood or sheet metal or whatever. Uh, this fiberglass is kind of easier to work. But you may notice this little uh, spindle or capstan or whatever you want to call it is rotating. It's about a 60 RPM motor on it. Uh, there's a better view of the motor. What that rotating spindle does is helps it climb out of uh, like a gully in a pattern. It's not perfect, uh, but it definitely helps. Uh, I've got to take care of some slop in here. Look right here. That's creating some issues. But overall it's working pretty good. It's kind of time consuming. Like I said, ultimately CNC would be better. But let's see what this thing will do. Okay, I got a, a depth adjustment right here. And that sets my final diameter. Uh, I used to go just a little bit deeper with every pass with the depth adjustment, but I found out I can leave it alone and just kind of do it by hand. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I, I'm just wasting wood off for a while. Some of that vibration is where I forgot to lock down the tailstock at the beginning. Uh, this little uh, carbide insert I put on here is really ideal, but if you go much deeper in about an eighth of an inch, it doesn't have much cutting surface on the side, and that was that chattering you saw just a minute ago. I wanted to make sure my tailstock was good and tight. doesn't look too bad. I got a little uh, little glitch right there. I think that'll sand out. Uh, as you can see, there's a, uh, I've used a combination of power feed and uh, hand feed. Uh, and on the gullies, I, I go from the high point down and the high point down this way. The driven capstan helps, but it, it still has troubles climbing out of that. Uh, I think ultimately CNC is the way to go, but I'm, I'm tickled with the results. A little bit time consuming, but 
Uh, that's pretty good. I like it. It's, looks pretty close. Well, I couldn't be more pleased with the results. They all look the same. Uh, they look like the pattern. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm not real pleased with the way the pattern tracer works, but I'll perfect it. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll even make it CNC. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me and be sure to subscribe. Uh, more upcoming videos on the wood lathe and who knows what else. Thanks again.